Today we're standing behind the daylight chamber and Torbrick purchased this vineyard in 2008 and it's a really important vineyard for us but I guess the signature of this vineyard is the daylight chamber itself. Um, built in 1927, uh, legend has it that uh, local councillors would come here and meet and have drinks and have a fair bit of frivolity and uh, predetermined if you like a lot of the outcomes that they would then take to, to the official council chambers for rubber stamping. Um, we feel quite uh, quite lucky that we've got this connection to to the Barossa and and uh, knowing that you know from this place a lot of the decisions that have taken the Barossa forward um, have sort of you know carried us forward as a region and uh, this vineyard itself is quite special and uh, we're, we're really we're really lucky to have it. Struy being all 100% Shiraz, this is a, I think it captures the two regions of the Barossa Valley in the best possible way. So we're having fruit from the valley floor along this western ridge where I sit now. And this, this component of the wine brings the density and the power, the width and the concentration into the wine, being old vine Barossa, Barossa Shiraz. Um, generally grown in so soils with uh, lots of stone and lots of clay. So we're seeing sort of lots of lots of tension of structure. In a perfect year, we like to blend that with about 30% fruit from the Eden Valley. And when we go up into the high Eden Valley, um, we get a polar opposite of soil. We get sandy soils, they're quite skeletal. Uh, the stone is more granite and quartz as opposed to ironstone and bluestone on the valley floor. And the wines are tighter, they're finer, they're more aromatic, and there's a graphite-like nature to the tannin profile. When we blend these two together, the uh, valley floor fruit makes a foil around the, the Eden Valley uh, style Shiraz. And that just sort of tightens it all in and, and captures what this region does so well. And that's, that's that sort of contrast of power and beauty in the wines. It spends about 18 months in, uh, in French oak and um, that just allows the wine to gain a bit of complexity and get some density in the, in the, in the glass. And when it comes out, this is a, a wine that has great longevity, immediate appeal, but um, it's a wine that will sell for many years. And um, I think that uh, the Struy in its, in its essence of, of uh, you know, that mountain in Scotland looking over the Barossa, for us that reference is the beautiful High Eden Valley looking over the valley floor and um, I think this wine just captures, captures that moment beautifully. Lovely dark fruits really come out of the glass, lots of, um, lots of sort of uh, dark plum, dark cherry, undertones of chocolate on the wine. There's a real concentration. You can feel the density of the wine and you can feel how it, it sort of spreads across your tongue. And there's, there's sort of a, a really enveloping feeling of the tannin and the silky nature of, of the wine when you drink this. It's plush, but I think the thing that really appeals to me the most is this fine talky tannin structure that just runs through the back of the palate. And uh, yeah, we're looking at something that's quite youthful, but uh, we'll have many, many years to go. Cheers.